Welcome and thanks for joining me on this episode of Build Your Own. We're going to build out price and option a 2018 BMW M3. Uh, before we do that, however, it's customary that what we do is we take a look at what's new for the model year. So what's new for 2018? Now, uh, I wasn't able to dig up the same amount of information I usually am from my regular sources, but here's what I do know that's uh, new for 2018. Uh, BMW of North America announced new changes to the 2018 BMW M3 sedan starting in July of 2017. One of the most important changes is the, is the addition of the iDrive 6.0 with touchscreen, which is now standard in most new BMWs. Um, this iDrive 6.0 system is currently regarded as one of the best money can buy. It improves on an already exceptional 5.0 version that made its debut aboard the current BMW 7 Series. So that's really cool. Also new for 2018, uh, LED headlights, uh, they're now standard, as well as new 20-inch wheels available on the competition package. So with that said, let's jump into this build. Uh, we can see that the MSRP starts out at 66450 I think that's pretty reasonable for everything that the M3 is. Um, so let's talk about colors. What do we have for colors here? We've got some metallic and non-metallic colors, and we do have a few BMW individual colors. We have Azerite Black Metallic, uh, Champagne Quartz, Tanzanite Blue, Smoke Topaz Metallic. Um, while those seem interesting, I don't think they really belong on an M3. I know that uh, what I like is the Yas Marina Blue. And so for this build, we're going to build it out to be Yas Marina Blue. Let's go for it. All right, let's move on to wheels. You got to have the good wheels, right? You can't get the base model wheels. Um, these 18-inch wheels, these just aren't going to cut it. Um, these are the 19-inch M Forge double spoke. These are the same wheels that you know you've been seeing on BMW M and M Sport products for a really long time. Personally, I think they're getting a little long in the tooth. I mean, they're still cool and everything, but they're getting a little old. But let's take a look at them real quick, see what they look like. Yeah, uh, obviously they look good. I mean, it's a good-looking wheel no matter what car they put it on. Um, and then these are the ones with they've got a little bit of a uh, black mixed in there and those look okay you know most of the time that I've seen these they usually have these wheels or the others but let's take a look at these uh, these 20 inch now obviously we know this comes with the competition package as I just read previously but hey we're building out cars the way they should be so if you're gonna get a 2018 BMW M3 then you should get it with the competition package. So let's see. I'm not really a big fan of the blackouts on the wheels. I've just never really been. So I'm going to go with the uh, with these. And yeah, as we suspected, we've got to add the competition package, which is an additional $4,750. So yeah, let's add that. We already knew that going in. Okay, those wheels look hot. Those wheels look hot. Those look really cool, right? That looks really good. Okay, let's move on to upholstery. The standard upholstery obviously looks pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, what do we got here? So, this is the cloth leather combination carbon structure. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the standard fare. No, here it is over here. What do we got? It is the black extended merino leather. Okay. So that's fine. Now, what's this? The full black merino. So you just get more leather. Let's see what that looks like. So that basically gives you more leather, like along the door panels and things like that. Because if you watch the change, it was more around here, not really over on the seats. I think the um, the orange looks pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like. That looks kind of fun. That looks kind of fun. Uh, but I think that over the long haul you just can't go wrong with black leather and one day you're gonna to want to park company with the car as I always say and on the resale market you know the the red leather the orange leather that's really niche but the black leather everybody can live with so it's gonna be a more desirable car I think the individual colors are cool but again 
it's kind of like getting the orange and you're paying a lot of extra money for I don't know something that you probably don't need so we're gonna add that thirty six hundred dollars to the till and move on to trims okay what do we got um, it's got the carbon fiber standard we're sticking with that we're going for the ultimate sport so there's nothing to do over here If we come over to packages this is where the damage normally starts when you're getting a BMW because this is they're gonna nickel and dime you on just about everything now I know that I want the heads up package I know I want the heads up feature and I'm pretty sure that's available on the driving on the standard driving assistance package but maybe not for the M3 let's find out no it's not uh, the executive package there it is so it's under the executive package forty one hundred dollars but boy they're giving you a lot and if you look at any if you look at BMWs and price these things out they're giving you a pretty good deal on this you're getting a lot in this package so we're gonna go ahead and get the executive package and then for just another five hundred dollars I mean we might as well just go ahead I mean we're already into this thing so we're gonna go ahead and option that out so now we're looking at seventy five thousand four hundred and I think that's reasonable let's move on to options see what we got here surely there's gonna be an upgraded stereo oh I guess not okay fantastic uh, Apple CarPlay yes that's a must-have Apple CarPlay um, the manual transmission no I don't want that it seems to kick me down to the bottom of the page each time I select something but we're gonna go with the M double clutch transmission for twenty nine hundred dollars we've got the Apple CarPlay um, the wireless charging and Wi-Fi hotspot I think that's kind of cool I'm wondering if that's a dealer install feature because I don't know if I want it right now but maybe I might want it in the future but it would help to know is that a dealer installed option so until I know that I'm gonna go ahead and say yes go ahead and give me that and then give me the power rear sunshade as well uh, the roof here's what I know if you go ahead and get the power sunroof then it's gonna take off the carbon roof and I think the carbon roof looks really good so I wanna keep that so I'm not gonna go for the moon roof um, other performance options the ceramic brakes I'm not planning on taking my car to the track I'll save that eight grand active blind spot assist for five hundred dollars I'm all about the safety and the tech so yep give me that too so we're into this thing for eighty thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars you can get more things they've got the in performance pieces you can get you know I gotta get the rear spoiler um, you know I gotta get the carbon uh, fiber mirror caps the rear diffuser the door sills and yes the floor mats and you might as well round out the kidney grills I mean we're building the ultimate M3 here and this thing's gonna look good um, so we're into this thing for eighty three thousand five hundred and thirteen dollars down here they've got the ultimate care programs uh, I normally don't cover this part because well you know that's a whole that's a whole different gig there but um, so let's get on over to summary and see what the damage is so this is a model year 2018 um, as built price is eighty three thousand five hundred and thirteen this thing does zero to sixty in three point nine seconds yet we'll manage uh, 25 miles to the gallon I'm assuming that's on the highway um, let's see maybe not um, so we got ours in Yas Marina blue um, we got the 20 inch M forged wheels which automatically gave us the competition package um, we upgrade oh no we have the cloth leather interior let's go back and change that unless it's gonna for unless it's gonna remove okay perfect there we go let's go back over to summary now we go eighty five thousand nine hundred and thirty eight dollars now we have the Yas Marina blue the 20 inch wheels the full merino leather and black the carbon fiber trim which was standard which is why we don't see a price there um, and then we basically loaded up on every package they had for the most part I don't think we really left out much competition package driving assistance package executive uh, we opted for the M double uh, uh, DCT transmission the automatic the behave well the the manual that behaves like an automatic uh, the power rear sunshade the the wireless charging and the hotspot Apple CarPlay you gotta have that the blind spot dis detection and all the little BMW M bits we got all of those too 
and then when you mix in destination and handling you're looking at a grand total of eighty six thousand nine hundred and thirty three dollars I think it's a fantastic car you're getting a lot of car for the money and whew, it's really fast I like to know how you'd build out yours though what color would you get would you opt for those same 19 inch wheels that you see in every BMW product I'm curious to know if you found this video helpful please like it and please comment and please share okay thank you